Alright guys, that video was just getting long so I wanted to cut it off. Um, but So we've seen we can do the same thing different ways with all this open source geospatial stuff. We first merged it using just QGIS um, and then we just recently did it using the OSGEO shell. Um, and I was actually just poking around here and I found another one using this Sega or Saga. Um, inside that tool or package or engine, however you want to look at it, sure enough there's a way you can merge vectors. Um, so merge vector layers. I have zero experience with this, but it's available. So that's kind of cool with all this open source stuff. There's, you know, you can find everything. It's just a matter of getting it to work and knowing where to look. Um, but I'm going to focus mostly on GDAL and OGR. Um, so since we've seen how to do a vector, why don't we do the same thing, the same exercise, but with a raster. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this. And I, I found some raster data on my computer. I actually just downloaded it. Um, it's a two digital elevation models of Pennsylvania, a little portion of Pennsylvania. Um, and I have two of them. And we're just going to first merge it using QGIS, and then we'll do the same exercise and merge it in the OSGEO shell. Um, so to do that, it's just raster miscellaneous merge. Inputs are going to be these two. Output, let's just call it. Uh, PA, PA, dim, merged. And now, look, if you look down here, it's saying exactly what it's going to do. It's going to call this GDAL merge.bat and use these as parameters. Um, so, really, this, this is just an interface for that OSGO shell engine. Um, so, this is just a fancy way of using this. And Q just, just bundles up a bunch of these commands, and um, it, it's an easier way to use it. So when we hit OK, we'll see in here we get this merged. It's still running now and process complete. OK, oops, I always do that. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to run it again, but so we can get rid of those. And here's our merged product. Simple enough. Uh, cool. So now let's do the same thing, but doing it with the OSGEO shell. Um, so let's go back to that cheat sheet. And if you look here, I was already looking it up, merge rasters. So this is in the raster operations section of this page. There's something called merge rasters. And this one, instead of calling just, remember we called OGR to OGR, this one's actually a Python script instead of an executable. So that's why we say um, that dot .py. So we can go look for it in our install. Uh, bin should be in here as a Python file. So it's a weird combination of Python scripts, batch scripts, executables. All of these make up the OSGO shell. And this is what uh, QGIS uses some of this stuff uh, to, to fuel its uh, tools. So what we're looking for, GDAL merge. Uh, somewhere in here. Do, do, do. Let's just look for it. Right here, see? So there's a batch script and a Python script. I believe that QGIS was calling this batch script, which just calls that Python script. So, um, but we're just going to straight up call that Python file. So instead of saying OGR to OGR, we can just say GDAL. Just like this page is saying, gdal merge.py space minus o for output. Give it a name. So we're going to browse to where we want the output to actually go. Because I think if you just said merge, it might. I'm not sure where it would put it. So we're going to so we're going to get rid of the merge one we just made, and we're going to give it this path backslash pa merged dot tiff space and then it's just the two the two inputs so 75 and 76 5 76 space and hit enter and it's working all right it's finished and you can see in this window it got created so let's just uh, if you don't believe me we'll go check in QGIS <clears throat> All 
right, let's go drag that in. Merge dim. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so while I'm here, I'll just show you another uh, thing that you'll often use is something called GDAL info. Um, that's another GDAL function, and this uh, just gives you basic information about the raster you're pulling in. So we'll pull this in, we'll see what it gives us. So it gives us the coordinate system, the projection, the, the, the uh, bounds of it, um, and just some cool information that could be useful depending on what you're doing. Um, yeah, so again, I just wanted to show that there's multiple ways of doing stuff. I'm sure there's a raster function for merging in this Sega too. I just, I've never used it. Raster, raster tools maybe? I don't know, somewhere in here I'm sure there is something for merging. It might be called something different, but. Um, so from here on out, I think I'm going to start doing this stuff with Python and show you how we can call things from Python and you know, get it to do directories and just do more uh, more complex tasks. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave off at that.